everyone, it is the Vlogmas bonus video. It's definitely looking more festive now that I've got this up. Oh. I haven't bit my lip. It's all going wrong. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. It is currently Boxing Day. I'm wearing my Christmas t-shirt from last year. And I'm in my parents' kitchen, which is huge in comparison to mine. And I've taken over, I've banned everyone. We're going to make the pancake balls. They are Danish, I'm gonna say this wrong, I hope you're not, Ibrskeve. <laughs> no idea if I just said that right. Ibrskeve. They are pancake balls. And translated, that actually, uh, actually means apple slices. So, yes. Now, if you want, I'm gonna try and show you what I do without making this a cooking video, but the only thing is that if you want to make these, you are going to have to have one of these. It's a special pan that has lots of little half circles in it, half balls. Now, I got mine all the way from Denmark because I'm lucky that way. You can buy them online, apparently, so if you really want to try these or make them, and I recommend them, they're great. I haven't made them for a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um, you can find them online. Or go to a Scandinavian country and see if you can find one. Okay, I have a recipe open. I'm not, I don't think this is the recipe I've used before, because it wants me to separate eggs, which could be interesting. But anyway, I hope you can hear me, the oven's on. <laughs> I'm doing this before uh, dinner. So hopefully I'm not interfering too much with preparations for that. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. The first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair up, or at least a bit, um, because I washed it this morning and I molt like anything, and I do not want <laughs> to get hair in my recipe. That would be nasty. Oh, you know the first thing I need to do? Is an apron. Because I'm bound to make a mess. So, let's stop myself from making too much of a mess all down myself. Right, here are my ingredients, as well as very random children's biscuits. So, we need We need flour. It says all purpose flour, um, so I'm going with plain, hoping that's the right stuff. We need butter, baking powder, uh, some sugar, a bit of salt. I've put vanilla extract because it asks for some vanilla sugar, so I thought I'd just stick some that in. Eggs. And I've grabbed these because it suggests you can put some stuff inside, and I've never tried putting in chocolate drops inside going to attempt that. Oh, and the other thing is buttermilk. I think that was all our ingredients. So, first thing first, let's get some flour. So, we need 250 grams. This is set to grams, isn't it? I thought it was, and now I'm not sure. Where's the, the grams bit disappeared to? Oh, no, no. Doubting myself. Okay, let's do this again. Units. Oh, there we go. Grams. Right. G. Okay, let's start again. Start from zero. Can we zero, please? Yes. Grams. Let's do this. This is really dangerous, me trying to do this on camera, because I'm bound to not pay enough attention to what I'm meant to pay attention to. Oh, whoops. Okay, getting there. Oh. Oh no, she just went too far. Oh. Take some out. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay. Flour, done. Now, let's put this here. 
what's next. Right, what it actually says at the beginning is step one is separate the A, separate, what, right. What it actually says as the first step is actually to separate the egg whites and the yolks into separate bowls. This is always tricky. Now, whites are going in here, yolks are going in there. Both empty at the moment. Now there are different ways to do this. The one I know is use, use a knife. Oh, that was a bit violent, but that worked. And now, what's going in here? Yeah. Okay, yolk in there. One down. Yeah. I find doing it with the knife is much easier than hitting it on the side of the bowl. It's less chance of disaster, hopefully. Broke that yolk, but that's okay. And last one, I am so messy already. Stay in there, you little yolk. Okay, that egg doesn't want to go. Go on. Are you good? Are you a good egg? Okay, three eggs done. Now, we need to whisk this until it's stiff. Here we go. I think that's pretty good. Now I just want to make meringue. Okay, I think that's, that's gotta be stiff, right? That's pretty good. Now, my three egg yolks, to that I add my flour. I think it can all just go in at once. I hope so. I just need to do a correction because I said baking powder and I got baking powder out. However, reread the stuff and it says baking soda, which in the UK is the same as bicarbonate of soda. Both of these are well out of date, but hopefully they'll still function. So yes, no baking powder, yes to bicarbonate of soda. And I need that now. So half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, boom. And then I need vanilla sugar, which I don't have, so I'm putting in some sugar and a little bit of vanilla flavoring. Now, interestingly, this, unless I've misread this, this um, recipe I'm using, which if you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description, but it's nordicfoodliving.com and it's the original recipe, Danish Ibriskiver pancake balls. Um, it, in its ingredients, it says one tablespoon of vanilla sugar and one tablespoon of sh sugar at the bottom. It's got, um, but I only see add um, salt. I need to add as well vanilla sugar together in separate bowls. So I don't know if I should add two tablespoons of sugar or just one. I mean, it won't hurt to add two. You usually cover the stuff in sugar afterwards anyway. So, but um, uh, mm, I think I'll add two. Here's the second one going in. 
done. Just hope that's not wrong. Right, small amount of sugar, salt as well. I'm not a big salt fan, I don't like putting in things, but let's put a small amount in. That's meant to be a, a quarter of a teaspoon. And oh yeah, so I was gonna try and put in some vanilla. This could be a bad idea, but it doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. I love vanilla. Right, so this isn't in the recipe, but it does say vanilla sugar, so I'm putting some vanilla extract. I'm not sure how much, so I'm gonna put just a small teaspoon in there. Like so. Oh, that smells good. So the buttermilk, it says 1.75 cups or 4 DL. No idea what DL means, so I'm hoping I'm going to um, do, I've got one cup here and a quarter, so I'm going to do three of these and one of them and hope that's right. It's best to follow the instructions and then you can blame them if you get it wrong. I bought the second buttermilk now because I'm gonna need it. Second one of these. Oh, turn it on, okay. just done uh, their step four I've read step five which seems to be which says melt butter and mix it in with the buttermilk while you're whisking so if I'd only realized <laughs> those, I would have swapped those round I probably should have chopped it up smaller but that's all good okay we are done it is melted Right, I have let the butter cool a bit. Hopefully it's cool enough. And now, not mixed with buttermilk, obviously, because I've already put it all in. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, that batter looks uniform. Now's the difficult bit. Okay, so now my task is to try. This is, oh, I might have to give this another whisk <laughs> because it was stiff and it's been sitting a bit. So it's, it's de-stiffened if that is a thing. So I will stiffen this up again and then I have to try and fold it into the mix. Uh, keeping the air and all that. I guess to keep these nice and fluffy and light. Okay, let's stiffen this baby up again. Oh no, see, I shouldn't have done this so early, clearly. Maybe when you uh, are used to this in this recipe, you can do it pretty quickly, but I think I should have waited. That's all right, it's working. Right, get in there. That's better. That's 
stiff. There we go, that's better. That's what we want. Fluffed up stiffness, take two. Disaster, people. I have apparently over whipped this now by doing it twice. And look, it's gone all blur. We are going to have to do eggs take two, at least for the, uh, the whites. So, ha, we're getting there though. We're getting there, people. As long as the batter doesn't go off while we're trying to do this. Right, three new eggs needed. Okay, let's go. What did I just do? Oh, man. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I think we rescued it. I think we managed. Clearly not paying attention. That doesn't want to go, so that's going in there. You know I said earlier about that it talked about vanilla sugar and normal sugar and I couldn't see where the normal sugar was mentioned. Well, turns out the normal sugar is meant to be mixed in with the egg whites to make them fluffy. So although I put two tablespoons into the batter mix now, I'm going to add some more sugar. This is going to be so bad for you. Um, some more sugar is now going to be added to the egg whites because that's what I should have done. I don't want to risk overdoing them. So I'm going to stop there. And now we have to fold in. The stiffened egg whites. I still don't know whether they're as stiffened as they should be, but frick. We just have to do this now, man. We've just got to do it. These could be fluffier, but you know what? I don't remember doing this last time. They were fine, they were good. That looks pretty good to me. Pretty good. Let's get this pan going. Medium heat, apparently, which I'm gonna go with is that. A small bit of butter. We need one, apparently. What I need to sort out before I get going is I need a, a skewer, ideally a wooden skewer of some kind, because that's what you need to flip the things over. So let's find one of them. There you go, this is what I need. Skewer, because you use that to flip them over. I might grab two. Where were they? Over here. Grab a couple, just in case. Now, this is a bit 
more gloopy than I think I've done it before, so we'll see what happens here. Well, I never is the best. Ooh, pressure. Sure. Now this recipe suggests that you actually pour a bit more batter in because what I've used to do was try and flip them completely in one turn which is actually quite difficult. So I'm wondering about the whole add some more batter. Like they should be. It's very hard to do these without making a mess. Right, I've got a dish to put them in. Now, these ones have a bit of a gap in them, like I thought they would, and um, I don't like them with, the, I don't want them to have a gap in them. Ideally, I want them to be a lovely full ball. So let's see if I can do a better job. Take two. Turn the heat down just a bit. I'm gonna fill them a lot more.
I think the middle batch was the best so far. Should have put a little bit more batter on in these ones, I think. Okay. Still got batter. I think we're good. So there you go everyone, these are my Elbeskiver, Elbeskiver, <laughs> they are Danish pancake balls and I am quite proud of them. I've still got some batter left, so I'll do some tomorrow I think, and um, I'm just put icing sugar on the top. I didn't end up putting in any of my chocolate drops or anything, but maybe tomorrow I'll try that, um, but yeah. I'll put the link to the recipe below and yes, have a wonderful new year. Bye.